Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick look at the latest release of Manjaro, and we've got our different desktop versions here, so the environment. So the XFCE desktop environment on the left, and the GNOME uh, desktop environment on the right. So there's not a lot I'll go into in terms of the features and functionalities apart from the desktop environments themselves, but you will see that uh, straight off the bat they do look quite different. They both have a bit of a, a, a green and dark theme tone to them, uh, at least to some degree there, but uh, it depends each to their own perhaps. But if I was to load this one up, so we've got the XFCE version here, it just shows you, you know, your list of apps, everything that's a little bit different, but much the same there. And then the GNOME environment, uh, GNOME 3.x, which a lot of people might be used to. You can, you've got your options through all your apps here this way instead. Uh, in terms of um, the, the types of apps you've got, you've actually, for the most part, got the same apps. There is a few small differences here and there, but you've got your browser apps, your office works, graphics apps, all sorts of things there as well. So nothing too exciting there. If we were to have a look at the file manager and see what we're dealing with here. So uh, actually, even before I go any further, I'll say that it is a little bit more of a lightweight uh, distribution. Uh, the XFCE version of, of Manjaro, it's just a, yeah, maybe a mid to lightweight version, they call it there. But if we go to the file manager, we'll see that it's running the Thuna, which is a very popular one to be used under under the XFCE desktop environments. If we uh, jump across to the uh, uh, GNOME version of Manjaro, we've got files, also known as Nautilus. They usually go hand in hand with any GNOME desktop environment. Uh, it does actually look quite simple, but it's uh, quite refined. I do like the, the way that they've uh, gone with that one there. But uh, they both are fully featured, fully functional, same uh, icon types as you can see there. Uh, no hit or miss there, just exactly the same. But um, yeah, in a nutshell, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a slightly lighter weight desktop environment on the left hand side. And we've got the uh, slightly heavier weight GNOME desktop environment on the right. So it's uh, pretty interesting to see. I have a personal preference for perhaps the uh, the, u the default user in interface, XFCE, but uh, each to their own, as I like to say. But that's pretty much the video there, guys. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, cheers again.